So, um, I have the snare drum here with the snares turned off. I usually recommend when you practice with the metronome, at least for beginners, that you practice with the snares off because it's easier to hear the metronome. You can also practice on a practice pad. Uh, but those are a couple things that will help. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put the metronome on quarter notes. I'll start about uh, quarter note equals, say, 85. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count out loud with the metronome. One, two, three, four, 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 one. You can play it with one hand or two hands, it doesn't make any difference. Make it as easy as possible. Now move the metronome up about 10 notches. So my metronome, I'm going to 95 here. Same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. If you get off at any point, just stop playing and count along again until you get back in sync with the metronome and go again. Keep moving the metronome up. Move it up as fast as you can, or to your top speed. Ten notches at a time, as you're comfortable. I'm going to jump forward here to about, we'll go to 200. One, two, three, four, 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 one. So that's quarter notes. Now, I'm going to slow the metronome down again. to about half of that, which would be 100, or maybe just a little bit slower, we'll say 85. Okay, now the metronome is playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. We want to learn to play eighth notes against that. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Move that up a little bit. Just keep going. You can move it up 10 notches at a time. I'm going to jump forward quite a bit here. Just because you'll get the idea. Here's quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And then eighth notes. One and two and three and four and 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 one. It's important that you learn to count along with the metronome. Because if you can count that along with the metronome, you can hear it, and if you can hear it, it's much easier to play. It's basically impossible to play until you can hear it. Now I'm going to slow it down again. I'm going to go down to about uh, quarter note equals 60. And what we want to learn to do now is to play 16th notes against the metronome. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. That's quarter notes. 1, 2, 3, Four eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and sixteenth. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a And again you just keep moving that up so that's faster. And that's going to train your ear to hear 16th notes against a quarter note pulse. And ultimately, you should be able to play anything that you practice against the metronome. And eventually, you'll wonder why you ever thought that was difficult. Um, it's the most scientific, most efficient way to practice.